Jess is an enigma. <laughs> Jess does everything. Um, Jess is a farmer's daughter from North Northumberland. Um, I have worked in the hospitality industry for just a little over 20 years now. And for the past 10, I have specialized in events, weddings and restaurant management. Um, more closely to this time of uh, my life, um, I have taken a huge, keen interest in events and weddings. More so events and weddings because it's something that I can start from myself and work forward from there to make this huge thing happen. And I like the accomplishment at the end of it and all the um, challenges that you face when, when hosting an event or planning an event or anything in between. Um, so from there, from working with my main job at the Bosque, I have set up on the side my own business called Vin and Vine, which that was based on my dog's name. And then from there, I thought, what what's going to rhyme with Vin? What what's going to sound good with Vin? Um, thinking into it, Vin, um, it, you can use it as the French word for wine. Um, and then if you think really think into it, wine and grapes grow on vines. So how Vin and Vine was bought was brought to attention. We went through about 60,000 other names before that. <laughs> and we finally settled on that one. Um, we being me and my family who helped me come up with the name. From there, um, I decided rather than doing just small events here and there, why don't I just go as big as I can and invent a new award scheme for Northumberland. So in true dress, dress fashion, it is go big or go home. Um, there's no in between with me. Um, everyone who knows me knows that if I do an event, if I'm going to reenact that event, it's bigger the next time and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So with these awards, it's predominantly for businesses in Northumberland, um, quite exclusive. Um, every, anyone can enter across Northumberland. There's, there's going to be seven different awards in total. So we, we kick off um, in 12 days time um, on the 31st of March with the wedding awards. And then we move on to opening entries and nominations for the Hair and Beauty Awards in June and then on to hospitality in September. And with a view over the next two years to add in another four awards for retail, small business, charity, sport, and what was the other one? No, that's it, yeah, just the other four. They can participate however they want. They don't necessarily have to enter if they don't want to, but if they'd like to keep a keen eye and have some advertising opportunities, they're more than welcome to. With no cost to them, um, these awards are primarily based on the fact that media, advertising, award schemes, they all come to a costly price and a lot of small businesses around this county just can't afford it um, in their day to days. So speaking to a lot of small businesses um, when I started planning this, um, they all said that whilst they'd love to enter awards for weddings or hair and beauty or whatever it is, they can't afford the fees that come with it. Uh, which is why I invented these to be primarily a free entry and nomination system. Um, the only thing that businesses have to pay for are the tickets to the finals awards where they can get presented with trophies, um, certificates, media packs, lots of little goodies in there. Um, and it's, it's been a huge hit with everyone local to me that I know um, and there's been quite a lot of media interest in it, in it as well across the county. Um, and I'm, I'm quite proud of this little blossoming flower that I've got going on. Um, but I have experience of having to pay for these awards and paying to enter and paying for the finals. And it, it, it comes to a lot of money. You're looking at treble figures, figures sometimes. Um, sometimes you've got to travel hours and hours away just to get to the ceremonies if you want to be invol involved. And, you know, it shouldn't, you shouldn't have to pay for things to be able to network and show how brilliant your business is. It's about time that those in Northumberland knew what talent we had around and we celebrated them. Only Northumberland at the minute. 
Um, as much as I like to give myself a challenge, um, I felt that Northumberland is where I've, I've grown up. I went to school, I've worked in Northumberland. I know Northumberland very, very well. Um, whereas the bigger northeast, I don't know as, as well. I know it, but I don't know it as well. So I thought for the first year or two, maybe just stick to Northumberland. And if the, um, if there is lots of interest from others around the northeast, then I'll expand them to the northeast only. Um, but the reason why I've made it purposely Northumberland at the minute is because we're banded in with Yorkshire for quite a lot of things. Not that's a bad thing at all, but everyone forgets that Yorkshire is the biggest county of England. When you add in the northeast to that, it makes a massive area to cover and sometimes just people don't even get a look in. And, you know, everyone deserves to be celebrated as much as the next person. So why not break it down a little bit and allow that to happen? The, the biggest challenge at this very moment in time is your money, your budget. Um, there is a massive increase in the cost of living. Bills are on the rise. Everything is getting more expensive. I know I've felt the pinch myself. Um, and it's allowing the couples that you work with to say, right, what, what is it that you want? What is it that you always wanted as your wedding? And let's see how we can make this happen in the most budget friendly, friendly way we can. Um, with my work over at the Bosque, we adapted our packages. So we've got everything from a very, very small budget up to an extravagant budget. So there's something for everyone. But it doesn't say that those that have a lower budget can't have anything on the, on the larger bu bu budget scale, they can. They can have anything they want from that part of the package and we'll just adjust it to make it worth their while so it's what they want. So they could say to me, you know what, I don't, I don't want a three course meal, I don't think it's worth spending the money, I just want to have a really nice table of charcuterie and antipasto and things like that. Absolutely fine, we can do that. And it, it's measuring what the customer wants, what your couples want, what you can give them and how you can make it easy for everyone. Planning a wedding is can be very, very stressful. Some people are natural born planners and will find the process very, very easy to do. Then you have others that are just like, I have no idea where to start. And that's when I come in, that's when I come in. And I'm, you know, I'm not there to say, I want you to pay so much money to me that I make this happen for you. Not at all. I'm, I'm happy just to dip in when you need me and just say, right, you're on the right tracks. Yes, you're doing this right. Maybe think about this, you know. I'm, I'm not doing it for the capital gain and I don't want anyone to think I'm doing it for capital gain. I'm doing it because I like helping people. I'm a huge fixer of people. I, I like to fix things and I love the challenge. It's more, of, it's more of a hobby to plan things and help people plan things than it is to, to anything else. I don't see it as a job. It's very hard to connect with people who aren't from the area because they're not used to one, the vast space that we have up here the countryside, you know, it's it's miles to travel everywhere. I mean, where I'm, where I'm based, luckily I live in Annick, so I'm fine, but for the likes of my parents, um, they have to travel every single day into Annick if they need anything as simple as a bottle of milk. You know, so it's, it's an easy 15 minute journey for those who have lived here all their lives, but then some people forget that it's, it's a rural county. So you have to get your couples to understand. And what I like to do is before anything's booked or I say I'm gonna do anything is I like to sit down, get to know my couples, you know, try and find a common, common ground of some things we've got in common. Um, to make the process easier, you can't just jump into someone who's never been to the area and go, this is what you're gonna do and this is where you're gonna go. That, that's not how it works. You need to allow them to explore everything. Um, set, a, set their budgets, have a think, what's, what's high priority in their bud budget, what's low priority in their budget, you know, and it's what, for the money in London, if you spend to say 25,000 pounds in London on a wedding, you would be able to get such a grander wedding up in Northumberland. It's, London is, is the center of the UK, it's very busy. Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of competition down there, whereas up here, whilst we all have competition and, uh, Every single person who has a wedding venue or an event planning thing, anything to do with weddings or hospitality or anything here, we all work so closely together because there's far and few between us. And we're not there to pick, go, actually, you know what, we want your couple. I'm going to work with you. So it's, it's under, getting the couple to understand that whilst we're a big area, everyone knows everyone, everyone's happy to help. Um, allow yourself just to 
sit back and enjoy the time that you've got up here um, and understand that it's a lot more tranquil, it's a lot more slow paced, you, you don't have to be in and out within a couple of days. Um, so that the best way I always say to people is let's have a consultation first, but let's not do it over the phone or email, let's have a video call, you know, let's get to see each other's faces, let's like do this properly, you can't just talk to someone over the phone and expect to get to know them straight away. You can't see their facial expressions, you can't see if they're uncomfortable talking about something, you know, so always have a video call, well I always have a video call and then from there we move forward. Um, if they want to continue they can do, if they don't want to, fair enough, maybe I'm just not giving off the vibes that they want or there's something that we just don't click on. It's completely understandable. Um, so the south, the south of England and up here are two complete separate areas, completely different. You, you can't compare the two at all, more so with it's so much more popula populated down there. Um, and it's getting couples to understand, understand that and realize that, you know, if there is, if you need me, ring me, you know, it's not like I can just jump, jump in the car and get down to London within the next couple of hours. Um, but I can make it if you want me to. Um, so it's just, yeah, you've got to get to know your couples before you do anything. Yeah, have it as a destination wedding. I, I can't, if I was to ever get married, I would love a destination wedding. You know, have everything in one go. It's all done and dusted. You know, makes life a lot easier. You're planning everything in one go. You've got, you can have a mini moon, which are hugely on the rise at the minute. People going away for just a couple of days somewhere and then going on a honeymoon a couple couple weeks or a couple months later. Um, and that's what Northumberland can offer with fantastic scenery, amazing coastline. When you're here in the summer, late summer months, the weather is absolutely fantastic hit and miss, but fantastic when it's good. Um, so you can do it all at once. It works really well to just get, get away from the hustle and bustle of life, enjoy yourself, extend the wedding bliss, and then go back home and it's done. You don't have to think about it ever again. Well, you will, but you don't have to think about the planning process ever again. <laughs> if there is any worries um, um, with your wedding planning or if you even, wanting to plan a simple baby shower or anything that requires a bit more decor, you think, oh my God, I don't think I'm gonna pull this off. Just give me a call. I, I am more than happy to help where I can. Um, I'm happy to discuss with you initially what it is that you need, whether I will actually work coming in as a, as a planner or a coordinator, or whether you just need a little bit of advice. You can give me a call, you can send me an email, um, you can get in touch with me over social media. Um, my phone is pretty much part of my body, so it doesn't really leave me. I'm, I'm always, I'm always on the other end of the phone. Um, it doesn't matter how small it is. It doesn't matter how big it is. If, if you need someone to go, can I just talk through this and make sure this is going to work? Just give me a call. I'm, I'm happy to help. This is what I'm here for. Everyone deserves to have the event or the wedding that they want to have, and allow me to help you make that happen. <laughs>